convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, let's do it. So we're breaking things down into seven parts. So 15 divided by seven, we'll get a one, we'll get a seven. Oop, that's not a one, that's a two. We'll get a 14. You're gonna let me get away with that, right? Changing that to seven to a four, that's a pro move. Two and one seventh, right? We have a little bit more than two because I would have, if I had 14, that would be two, but then I have one left over, so I have one seventh. So I have two and one seventh. Two space, one forward slash seven. 31 fifths, so same thing, 31 divided by five. Goes in six times. I have six and one fifth. Twenty six, okay, great. Twenty divided by six gives me three. So I have three and two sixth, uh, but they said simplest form. So three and one third. They're always after us. Okay, so now I've got, I'm breaking things down into sixths. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? That's six pieces. And I, I basically have one and one sixth. Well, how many do I have then? That's seven over six. So how do you do that? Can you make that one just into a six parts, and then you do six plus one over six. So it's just gonna be seven over six. We'll practice it again without the picture next time. Okay, so five holes is 15 parts since they're thirds. 15 plus two divided by three is 17 over three. So you take the five and the three and you multiply them and you add the two and then you divide by the three. So 17 over three. Okay, we take two and the three, we get six plus one over three is seven over three. As a mixed number, so 16 divided by 7, 2, 14. My grandmother used to love doing this kind of stuff. Even when she grew up, she loved just doing like sums just for fun to relax. This would be 2. Um, so this would be 2 and 2 sevenths. Right? So it's that. Improper fraction, 21 plus 5 over 7, which is 26 over 7, which is that. Nice work, us. That's going to be 24, 6 times 4, plus 5 divided by 6 is 29 over 6. And 21 plus 2 divided by 7 is 23 divided by 7. You want to check out a couple more? Let's see what the next level is. Ooh, it got real. But it's the same principle. 57 divided by 4 
1, 17. This is going to be a 4 here. We'll get a 16 here. Got a 1 left over. So it'll be 14 and 1 fourth. So if we had 56 there, 56 over 4, that would be exactly, 56 divided by 4 is exactly 14. So that 57 means we have 1 fourth left over. So 14 and 1 fourth. All right. You get the idea. Practice your mixed numbers and improper fractions, and I'll see you soon.